Hello everybody and welcome to Chronix Reviews and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the first games I ever bought with my own money, Mercs for the Mega Drive. Developed for the arcade by Capcom in 1990, Mercs was ported to the Sega Mega Drive and Master System in 1991. It's your basic top-down shooter similar to Akari Warriors or Commando, but don't let that fool you, this game is hard as balls. Sure, the first few levels are a piece of piss, but after a while you'll wish this game was a multiplayer like its arcade original. There are two versions of the game, arcade and original. We're going to be taking a look at the original one today because... Well, it's the only one I like and I can complete it. Anyway, here's the story. The White House has received a report that the government of... Fill in the blank has secretly developed long-range ballistic missiles. Fearing that the newly developed strength of, where is it Stan, uh, could affect the global balance of power and eventually lead to war, the president orders the Mercs, an elite corps of hired soldiers, to take out these missiles. So it's the Expendables then. So anyway, yeah, back to the game. Anyway, you start off on a beach and you get two seconds to figure out where you are before you are bombarded by about half a dozen guys shooting you and throwing grenades. I mean, Jesus, talking about a short learning curve. In Mario, you fought one Goomba. In Sonic, you fought a Motobug before the game started throwing more baddies at you. No, this one, you get an entire platoon flowing at you from the start. And you have to kill them first time round, otherwise they swarm at you and you end up having to use your Mega Crush, which you really do need to save for the bosses. But the game does help you out with uh, weapon power-ups, speed power-ups, food which replenishes a little bit of health, medipacks dropped off by these guys who replenish a lot of health, and the odd Mega Crush every now and then. But anyway, keep shooting and keep dodging and before you know it you'll come up to the first boss, a giant jet thing who will fly all over the screen and shoot at you. Now you don't really want to die on the first level because if you do yep you get a game over. Pretty harsh I know. But this is where Mercs differs from most games. At the start of the second level shoot your way through these guys just do, just do, uh, keep going, collecting all the medals and power-ups as you can dodge this tank and you'll come across a tent and in this tent you'll meet a new guy yes you don't have lives in this in the original mode you have different mercs you can choose from and here you find a shop where you can spend all those medals you've been collecting see they weren't all for nothing as well each of the mercs have individual stats which you can power up using items throughout the levels aside from rifle and burner there are other mercs which you'll meet along the way Launcher, who shoots grenades to disperse multiple enemies. Laser, who's really good at destroying tanks. And Homing, who shoots homing missiles. Out of the five, my favourite is probably Burner, because, well, the guy's got a flamethrower and nothing beats a flamethrower. Ah, look at him burn. You can switch between characters whenever you want by pressing star. And it's here where the strategy kicks in. Yes, I said strategy. Depending on what level you're on, you're going to want to use a certain Merc, but if you want to last longer than 10 seconds, you're going to want to level up your character. This can be done by buying power-ups at the shop, or finding them throughout the level. But sometimes you either haven't got the cash, or there aren't enough power-ups in the stage, so you really have to be careful where you spend them. There are 8 levels throughout the game, each getting harder and harder as you progress. The bosses in particular get stupidly harder as you go on. Just make sure all your mercs have full power and a decent amount of health and before you know it you've destroyed all the missiles and saved the world. And it's then you're greeted with the time honoured ending of a handshake with a pixelated president and a congratulations shining on the screen. So that's mercs for the Sega Mega Drive. I really enjoyed this game and I still do. At times I wish it had a multiplayer option but completing the game on your own does give you a sense of achievement. Overall I give this game a 7 out of 10, and I'll see you next time.